Good morning. I look like a piece of human garbage. <laughs> um, right now I am just in the hotel after the, uh, where were we? <laughs> the army Christmas party. So yeah, if you want to see my view, gorgeous. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere, but that's okay. We're in the middle of nowhere, but yeah, uh, they have really comfy pillows though. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much, I need to be out of here by 11. We are gonna drive back today. So, but it's supposed to snow and I get so, I just hate driving in the snow, it is so bad. It just freaks me out and I just, like when I'm driving in the snow, I just think of all the worst possibilities that can go wrong and it's not a good way to live <laughs> so yeah um so yeah i'm just chilling i look like joanne the scammer in this um jacket i just ordered another one too <laughs> i bought this for myself for christmas at least that's the excuse that i'm using for the rest of this month so yeah i just ordered a white one on well it's ivory on charlotteroost.com it was like 20 bucks or 30 bucks so yeah uh what else <laughs> i'm so bored oh I just finished all my classes for the semester, so I am pumped. Do you know that feeling when you just get rid of, you get done with something that you wanted to be done with for so long? Me right now. Me right now. Um, oh, it just feels so good because I didn't really do that good. <laughs> I didn't do that good in my last midterm, but I don't really care. I have a 98 in that class, so I shouldn't be too bad. But you know when people freaking word questions that are just like, it could have a di totally different answers and they're easily, like I swear my one teacher's midterm was all questions that like I could, I could contest all of them and like make a case for all, why I got the right answer but she said that they were wrong. I don't know. Anyway, if that doesn't make sense then I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, we'll see if we drive back. Otherwise we're just going to stay here another night and then that means I will try to edit my video and yeah, oh my god, I'm so bored. <laughs> I'm literally just looking out into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I should play Wide Open Spaces by the Dixie Chicks right now. That would be, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Um, so anyway, yeah, about the Christmas party last night. I think I said this last night in my vlog too, but oh my god. First of all, I was the only girl, like, there besides a few, like, other wives. So I was the only, like, girlfriend that came, I guess. So I'm like, great, thanks Jarvis for inviting me and there's nobody here. So then it turned out that I was like center of attention and I was like, <laughs> so that I was under fire of all these vegan questions because they didn't understand how we could ever be vegan. <laughs> I feel bad for Jarvis because he has to be with them more um, and they weren't like annoying or anything. I mean, it wasn't like a big deal because they weren't, they were joking. They weren't being like serious, but they were, I, uh, I had to, I had to answer a lot of vegan questions last night, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was intense it was probably honestly it was like to give you guys an estimate it was like two and a half hours of just them asking me why i'm vegan over and over and over <laughs> so yeah that's the that's the life i chose i i guess but there's a difference though between people like them and they they were just like you know being funny about it and they're not serious and like i know they're not and i would never get mad i don't really care um, cause I'm not, I don't ask people to be vegan or I don't, you know, I talk about it a lot because it's my life and, and I'm annoying like that. So, but yeah, um, but then there's these people, there's other people that I've come into contact with so far and they just drive me crazy because they, it's like they want me to come back to their side, but I'm like, don't you see that what I do and what I eat does not, it has nothing to do with you. I mean, I don't understand why you are so mad about it does that make sense like it's just like as it's as if I'm, I'm telling everybody they're you know going to hell because they're not vegan like me it's like i'm not saying that at all i don't understand like what the, the what the animosity is with some people it is crazy um anyway i don't have any homework anymore i don't have like <laughs> i have nothing to do there's nobody here i'm not i don't want to go in the lobby i don't have any food in here i die in here anyway i will talk to you guys later all right, I'll see you later. Bye. Get out of here. All right, I'll see you in a couple hours. Don't forget to pick me up.
Okay, we'll see. Okay, so guess what? I have to entertain myself while Jarvis is like finishing up his drill today. But, so I'm driving around and I'm, you know, entertaining myself as I do. I find a CVS, but that's not it. There's a Walgreens on the other side of the street. It's about to go down, makeup wise. Like, how lucky can one person be? Here's what's happening here. I 100% didn't uh, portion my spaghetti right. When your girlfriend's good at making meals for giants. <laughs> I But then I like did half of the sauce can or whatever. <laughs> so he has like a little bit of that. But then he has like all that spaghetti. But he doesn't really care, right? Nope. And then we ran out of Gardein like marinara for spaghetti. So then we're using the Gardein patties. But they're like the same thing. Anyway, we're just chilling. I forgot once again to we're vlog We're just chilling here in Cedar Rapids. Stop. I forgot to vlog once again. Uh, but you know what? Have you ever had just one of those days where it's just so boring? Stop filming me while I'm eating. Oh my god. Eat much? Remember when everyone used to say that? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everyone knows, no one said that. No, everyone used to end their sentences with like, much? Like, eat much? talk much no one ever said that laugh much <laughs> no i promise like if i if i put this on the vlog everyone will be like yeah we remember no. <laughs> look at this follow your dreams oh my god that is so funny so for lack of having anything to talk about in this vlog <laughs> or doing anything today i'm gonna tell you guys a funny story about when jarvis and i were like first dating this so this was like this was like seven months ago. So I, before I went vegan, I never cooked like, and I ever, like ever. So I could make cereal and like that was it. He, um, I'm trying to like impress him and be like, show how good I am at cooking and oh my God, even though I wasn't. This was before we were vegan or vegetarian or anything. So he's like, man, I'm really hungry. And he, but he had to, and he had to drive home like pretty far to, I think you were going back to ISU. Yeah. So. So I'm like, oh, like, I'll make you something. He's like, yeah, I feel like a turkey sandwich. I'm like, oh, oh, you sit down. I'll make it for you. So I go over there. I get out, like, our really nice bread. And I, like, toast it all. They were, like, rolls. They were, like, ciabatta they rolls. They put in the oven and stuff. And yeah. I put them in the oven so they were, like, perfectly toasted. And, like, and I was like, oh, my God, this looks so gourmet. I got, like, these turkey slices out, put them on there. And then, like, I made it all fancy. And I put, like, three sandwiches in a row. And then I put, like, a toothpick in and then I put, like, a toothpick in between. <laughs> okay. I put a toothpick in between. <laughs> I put a toothpick in between. <laughs> okay, I gotta get it together. Okay, so anyway, I did that. And then I, like, served it to him on our best plate. And I'm like, here you go, like, bone at the teeth. <laughs> bone at the teeth. He's like, wow, these look amazing. <laughs> so then he's eating them, and he's, you know, he's, like, eating them. And I'm like... Oh yeah, he loves them. He's eating all of them. Yeah, he's really good. I was like, I'm pretty sure I told you those were the best sandwiches I've yeah. ever had. He was like, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. Thank you so much. I'm like, I got in the bag. We'll be married by freaking December. <laughs> so anyway, so then like a day passes and it's the next morning and Jarvis is gone. He's at, down at school. <laughs> and then my dad it goes to make a turkey sandwich. <laughs> he smells the turkey. <laughs> and he almost puked. He's like... Oh, how oh, is this still in here? It's been expired for months. <laughs> and my eyes were like this, like, because I had just served it to him. <laughs> Funny. A couple hours later, you get a text from me. Man, I'm not feeling so good to drive home. No, he literally, and then he told me later, he's like, yeah, I had the worst stomach ache on the way home. <laughs> Always down for food poisoning. Now I make really, really good poison. <laughs> He's literally just eating noodles. So, okay, we have another one. <laughs> we're like, okay, let's go to like a, this place called Laugh Factory downtown. So we're so excited. We had the best day ever. We went to Navy Pier. We went to out to eat. We were like doing it all. Chicago experience. So 
then we like the last thing of the day is laugh factory which is like we had to take a, a really long uber ride to get there it's where all comedians get their start where all comedians get their start right so we we go there and we just bought tickets they were super cheap online or whatever and they have like, like shows seven bucks each. yeah they have like shows every single night so we were just like oh cool it's like stand up every night <laughs> So we get there, and the first thing that we have to do is write down on a piece of paper the worst movie we've ever seen. So we write them down. I don't even know what he writes down. Go and sit down. We're so excited. Like, and as we're sitting there, <laughs> this should have been our first sign that it was going to be not good. There was this lady coming around with an email list, and if you put your email on it, you get free tickets. <laughs> so we were like, oh, wow, that sounds too good to be true. They were like, really trying to fill the crowd. They were trying to, yeah, they're trying to pack the house. So... We get like the best seats ever too. We're like on the side, but we didn't want to be like up front because they would call on us or something. So we were over on the side, but we were pretty close to the front. The thing starts and like the comedians come out and then they're like, hey guys, so come out. First off, look what, show them what you're making me do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they can't see me unless you do this. Uh, yeah. They came out and they were like, you guys ever watch a bad movie with your friends? And you guys all just make jokes about it the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to first watch a bad movie, and then we're going to make jokes about it. We all have to sit there, and we're like, wait, what? When they said that, I could literally just hear my money being flushed down the toilet. <laughs> so, we're, like, sitting there, and then they're like, yeah, we're going to watch a movie together, and we're like, huh? Like, we could do this by ourselves. We don't want to watch a movie with you guys. Like, you're weird. And what's the movie they picked was, what was it, yeah, Samurai they, Cow or something? They picked... Sa like samurai cop and then they just narrated it oh and then during <laughs> there was this one waitress who was so crazy because in the beginning they were like all right guys look for the at the end there will be this like very obvious scene where they rip off his wig or he's wearing a wig or something so when when you see it we want everybody to yell wig but they're like it's at the end of the movie <laughs> so this waitress the movie starts and she just starts yelling wig. Not like, even 30 seconds in. Not even, the, yeah, not even like, and we're just like, dude, you gotta go. And she totally ruined the movie as if it wasn't ruined already. But the whole time we were just like, is this over soon? Or like, is this just like the first thing we're doing? And then you guys are going to like do some jokes afterwards or like, what's going on? Nope. We watched, that was the only thing we did. We just watched that. And then they played a few games at the end and we're like. Games completely unrelated to the movie. They get on stage after the movie. And they pick out, they had all of our things with the word bad movies on them. <laughs> they pick out names and they pick out, they're like, is there Jarvis Alexander in the crowd? First one. The first one picked and I'm like, hell no. And then nice the, the spotlight. spotlight comes on us and I'm just like, please God, please don't, don't do this to me. I do not like to be like the center of attention like that. I know it was on him, but it was more on me, of course. Though. They're like. Your favorite movie was Flubber? <laughs> and I was like, that's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. You wrote a good one. I didn't think about that. It was funny, though, because they were, you know, trying to go back and forth with him. And usually I feel like they're not used to the audience being, like, quick. Because they, they, like, funny. they, like, pick people out to, like, outsmart them and out yeah. them. Yeah. So, but then, it, like, the tables had turned because they kept asking him questions. But his responses were funnier than theirs. <laughs> Literally, whole audience. So, like, the whole audience is, like, cracking up at what Jarvis is saying. So then, they're like, oh, all right, we, go, we gotta get off this guy. We gotta go to <laughs> They're, like, tri trifling through the head. Oh, next guy, next guy, yeah, next guy. Yeah, they, they were looking for anybody else but to talk to him because they were just like, oh, and then oh they my God. Your it was, it was, I was just confused. I left so, I left so confused. I was like, I lost everything I, I ever learned. I pull those, uh, freaking pens from Men in Black and didn't erase my memory. Thanks for holding the light. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm so mean. Anyway, we are gonna go. We will see you guys tomorrow.